This is a paper wallet printed out from a Piper device and this is known as cold storage. It's not on the computer. You have the private key here with the associated public key here that you can show anyone. You don't show anyone your private key. So what I'm going to do right now is bring up the Mycelium phone wallet on my phone and we're going to use the function of cold storage. And uh, you can read the directive there and we're going to go to QR code and in this case I'm going to scan the uh, public key. So we'll do that right here. That's the public key. And what comes up? So we can see that there are, it shows the balance of the wallet but I can't uh, spend from it. So uh, and you can see 1C9K and uh, here you can see 1C9K and at the end you can see 49TM uh, at 49TM so it shows you that. Now if we go back we'll scan again but this time we'll scan the so we're still in this cold storage mode but we'll scan the private key so we're scanning the private key and let's have a look what comes up this time so this is the one that anyone can get and spend from so uh, here it is here and sure enough it says that we can send so there are 4,000 bits in there the equivalent of uh, 1.28 Australian dollars and uh, yeah we can you know we can go on and look I could send some monies so I could scan a QR code indeed I could do that on my computer uh, with a I've got an Electrum wallet here and if I just find the QR code and I could send uh, monies from the uh, private key here uh, to uh, that Electrum wallet for example. So uh, I won't do that but that's a basic rundown of uh, what's known as sweeping in a way from the and I could send just a portion of the funds in there by the way. Uh, to the Electrum wallet. So this is just an example of what's also termed sweeping the uh, wallet of the funds. So I hope you enjoyed the video.